Hello, my name is Aza Rask and I'm Head of User Experience at Mozilla Labs and I want to talk to you about the problem. The web is disconnected. Information and services are far apart. For instance, if I want to email a restaurant to a friend, well, I can't even add a map to my email. All I can do is just add a link. Think about that for a second. It's 2008 and I can't actually add a map to my email. We want to empower the user to be able to make mashups on their own, not have to wait for a developer to do it for them. Enter Ubiquity. It's an alpha 0.1 prototype community-based experiment into connecting the web with language. Okay, enough words. Let's see it in action. The problem with the way the web stands now is that I have to go to services to use them. And I'd really like to be able to do is have user-generated mashups, mashups that I care about where I care about them. So for instance, here I have an email to a tool. Hey, a tool, let's have lunch at Elite Cafe. What I'd like to be able to do is just select that and say, map it for me. Um, I used option space, in this case, to call up Ubiquity. It's found the map. I click on it to go into interactive mode, do what I want, zoom in, find the map I want, click insert map into page. This is a user-generated mashup that takes advantage of the power of language and open APIs and combines it inside of Ubiquity. You should note that this is something that wasn't possible before. We can also do things like adding reviews. So, and here's what people say about it. And I'm going to use the Yelp command. Yelp is a, is a great service. So I can say Yelp Elite Cafe near SF, right? Just type what's natural to me, natural language. It figures it out. I hit return and it's added that review. I can go again a step further. I want to add this to my calendar. Option space to call it up and I say add to calendar. It figures out what I want. Then lunch with a tool at 1 p.m. at Elite Cafe. Hit return. It goes off and it's added to my calendar. I could show you but I don't need to. Ubiquity is very experimental and prototypical. The interface isn't quite, quite right. Um, lots of room for improvement, but I think this is a big win already. The user-generated mashups calling features to you. The browser should enable you to see the web in the way that makes the most sense. For instance, if I'm looking for a loft in San Francisco, well, this view doesn't work so well since I need to see a map. Unfortunately, it's really hard to go map each one of these things individually. What the browser should enable is selecting some and just be able to type map these. Ubiquity has gone ahead and did all of the hard work, diving through the pages, finding their locations. Although this command only currently works on Craigslist, it's the idea that counts. They should be able to take microformats and mash them up anywhere to map, to plot, to see data in the way you want to see it. Let's take a look at another example. For instance, here I am reading this page in Japanese and say I can't read Japanese. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just select, tell Ubiquity that I want to translate this? It's translated in. Well, uh-oh, looks like there's allocations of falsification. Let me highlight that and uh, select this whole thing and email this to Jono. Uh, notice that Ubiquity knows who I'm talking about. It's read my contacts list and knows who Jono is. Hit return and it's gone ahead and done the whole thing from this page, inserted it all directly to Jono. Simple. Ubiquity is all about enhancing your web experience. So say I'm reading a page and come across a word I don't know. Aglet. Well I can just ask Ubiquity about it. Define it for me. And it tells me. I uh, want to know a little bit more, so let's Wikipedia for it. Just type Wikipedia, it takes my selection, and boom, we're there. Um, now, now that I've learned a new word, I want to tell my friends about it, let's use Twitter. So I can select this, say Twitter, it figures out what I want, and I say, I learned a new word today, this. And Ubiquity will insert my selection for this, and it says it all down here. Exactly what I'll Twitter, hit return. It asked me for my password for Twitter, and I've Twittered. Writing Ubiquity commands is easy. So here I am, the Ubiquity author tutorial. This is scroll down to uh, show you some particular examples here. Um, 
and let's let's use tiny URL. Um, this is all it takes, all of the code it requires, to take a URL, type tiny URL into Ubiquity, and have it turn into a tiny URL using the tiny URL service. Um, now, let me show an example of this. So say I copy this URL, um, I putting it into a comment, hey, check out this tutorial for writing Ubiquity commands, I paste it in. Now, I actually have already written this command and shared it on my page. Let's go to azorask.in slash verbs. Now, this is a page that has a couple commands written in it. The tutorial shows you how to do this. Um, whenever you go to a page that contains commands, you get a little uh, drop-down pane here that says that there are commands available and would you like to subscribe to them? I'll say yes, this includes the tiny URL command I just showed you. Subscribe. You look at it, say yes, I know what I'm doing, subscribe to it, and I'm subscribed. You switch back to the tab I want, select the URL, and use the tiny URL command. There I go. To see what commands you have, just use the help command. This brings you to Ubiquity Help. Um, you can see there's a command editor to let you play around with, with making your commands on your own. And down here, there's a list of feeds that you've subscribed to. If you want to get rid of them, just click the unsubscribe button.